It finally happened. We got to review a full gaming PC from Timu, and now you know what that means. We must build a full gaming setup. What we have right here is a true full gaming setup from Timu that includes the monitor, the peripherals, the gaming PC, and everything you can buy today from Timu. And for some reason, this came in an Amazon box. This is gonna be a fun video after a word from today's sponsor. Picture this, you just got done filming an awesome new video that's gonna be a hit. You insert your SD card into the reader and then you're wondering, where's my SD card? Come to find out it's corrupt and your footage is lost forever. At least that's what you'd think. Today's video sponsor, Wondershare Recover It, saves you from data and file loss in scenarios like this and many more. Let me explain. This amazing software can save you from all kinds of really bad scenarios at work, school, and other situations with this all-in-one data recovery. Wondershare Recover It supports over 2,000 storage devices and over 1,000 file formats, saving you from system crashes, file corruption, formatting issues, and more. Its enhanced photo and video recovery can help you recover lost photos, lost videos, and even lost files back that you thought were gone forever. And it brings these files back in their original formats too. Recover is super simple to download and free to try. Just give it a download, select the drive you'd want to recover from, then Wondershare's Recover it will show you the files you can safely recover. Choose which files you want to recover and then let the software work its magic. You can download Recover it for free today by using our link in the description down below. Big thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So just to update you guys in case you didn't see the video, this is an STG gaming PC that we got from Timu. We were really hoping we could build our own PC, but sadly, STG got to it first before they put all the parts we needed. This PC right here is the typical STG way. We got an RX 580 2048, which is basically an RX 570 with an i7 quad core, and we had to open it to find out that it is a fourth gen i7 four core eight thread. We got 16 gigs of RAM in dual channel, and we got a fairly sleek looking RGB case set to orange right now. And then of course, it also has a 512 gig two and a half inch SSD, and then just a pretty generic STG power supply. And the build overall, not too terrible. We were able to game on it, but we do just recommend buying it from somewhere else because it's the same price as Timu. And now that we reviewed that PC, we had to build a full setup around it because about a year ago, we made a video building a full gaming setup from Timu, but of course, they didn't have pre-built gaming PCs yet. So we decided to revisit that and build this full setup, which with the PC and everything included, we're looking at about a $600 full setup, which I will say is a lot of money to give the Timu. And we're gonna open it up one by one, the stuff that we got from Timu. And of course, I'm kind of sad. It didn't come in an orange bag. It came in this bag, Amazon box, because they seem to drop ship a lot from Amazon, and this monitor, which is actually a 27 inch monitor, but we'll get to the monitor last. That normally is gonna take a little bit, but I guess we'll just open up the bag and I'm gonna hand you some stuff. So let's go ahead and hand you this. Ah, a keyboard. The Deluxe. <laughs> All right, so we got the Deluxe KM3661 key mechanical keyboard. It does say mechanical, so this better freaking be mechanical. This should be a wireless white keyboard with red switches. It says white and orange, I think. It's white and orange. It's kinda, Overwatch kinda themed. Kinda themed. Overwatch or Timu. <laughs> we got both going there. Ooh, we got a braided USB-C detachable cable. All right, I, you know, I'm already liking this keyboard, guys. I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. These uh, red switches? Should be red switches. Some Should be Otam uh, Otamu. 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 Red switches. Here, Jonah, hand me the camera. You're the, you're the one who likes to feel keyboards. Sorry, tell me, tell me, tell Not me what you think. Not bad at all. You know, so stabilizers sound pretty good. Shift is all right. It's not the best. It's kind of clacky, a but rattly. the keys feel pretty good. They're nice and sturdy. They don't wiggle too much when you move them. So that's plus. It's kind of lightweight. It's not too heavy, but yeah. How much was it? Well, what would you guess is the price? Or this is Timu we're talking about, all right? I would say like no more than like 35 bucks. Okay. I'd have to go like 30. We paid $28 for this keyboard. Ah, all right. 20 bucks. It, it feels like your traditional like Amazon keyboard for $28. No real RGB. Honestly, this is the kind of keyboard I honestly would have the lighting off. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it really, and even with the lighting on, it's not ugly by any means. So, nice. Okay. Gamer keyboard, 28 bucks. Great way to start the setup. Well, I hope, oh, I forgot. The mouse came from Amazon drop shipping. Oh. Yeah, so this is a trend we've noticed with Timu. A lot of their products are drop shipped from other places. We had Newegg and Amazon. Mail is, those are the main two. So sellers, they're probably just getting told, hey, if you just list on our website, you can ship from your fulfillment centers from Amazon or Newegg and just save you costs and you just get access to our customer base. <laughs> McAllister, put what an average Timu customer looks like right here. Show me yeah. what that looks like. But here's the mouse. This is the Paul 3395 mouse from Attack Shark. Attack Shark? <laughs> the Attack Shark wireless mouse. So, so wait, you got a wireless, uh, you said the keyboard was? The keyboard's not wireless, right? It says Deluxe KM36 wireless gaming mechanical keyboard. Where's the wireless functionality, Timu? Yeah, like, definitely 
There's no switch to make it wireless. Yeah, there's no dongle. Like, I, there's no way this could be. I, I knew when I bought a keyboard for $28, it's $27 now, by the way. Yeah. Um, it being wireless was definitely a stretch. Well, let's go to the mouse, which this should be wireless and comes with some cool oh, skins for the mouse we have we to put, put on. Those on. So the wireless uh, attack shark mouse is the X3. And um, I already don't like this. Look, specialized software. Oh that, no. That just sounds like malware waiting to happen. It, I will say the listing made it look really professional. It like it feels, looked like a really nice mouse. It actually feels like a lightweight, like premium wireless mouse. It's that, really light. I mean, it does feel this. It feels really light. Okay. Like, it's impressive. And light. that's supposed to be grip tape. But will it add grams? Will it add grams? I don't know. So here's what the actual design looks like on Timu. This is the black version, but I thought it looked pretty cool. It kind of stands out compared to other mice on the market. So we definitely got to deck it out with the grip tape. What, so what so no use? lighting or anything? Uh, no lighting, very basic. Um, does it use like a dongle or is it like I think it's in here. Go ahead and get this plugged in before we forget about it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put some stickers on this thing. I'm not the sticker master, so if he's going crooked, is what it is. I like the idea of having additional grip. This is made with 100% virgin grade PTFE feet. Oh. It's 100% virgin grade. <laughs> What's gonna happen when we tell Zach about the virgin feet? He's gonna be so ready for. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Anywho, he's still putting that on there, but I had Dude, to jump in and tell you that. so hard to get straight. All right, guys, we got our grip tape installed and ready to go. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks to put all this on properly, <laughs> but we're gonna see what the weight is after adding the grip tape. Go, oh, 56 grams. Ooh, Ooh so I don't, really I add don't, that many grams? I don't know if the grip tape could have added that much. I don't think so. It might've been, we should have done it beforehand, but you know what? We're gonna <laughs> assume that it was close to 48 grams. I bet the mouse is actually more like, what, 54? Not great there, Timu, but I will say it does feel really lightweight and hopefully it's real, because, uh, you know, it's a little suspect how lightweight it is for not having a battery in there, but we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. We need to get rid of this Toasty Bros build mat that you can buy today at PCBros.tech. If you're a PC builder, it's essential to have a build mat like this. Go to PC Bros. Use our discount if code. If you ever want to make it. If you ever want to make it and be real, you should buy one of these at PCBros.tech. Oh, look at all the wood shavings from a previous mm. video. If you know, you know. This one is interesting. It's called the CSGO Game Skin Mouse Pad. <laughs> you play CS. I need you to tell me oh, if this is that's, actually- that's the print screen. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right away. I was gonna yeah. say, I saw it and I didn't recognize it, but here we go. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is, uh, it's a lot, I'll be honest with you. Basic mouse pad, Timu is known for having some outrageous mouse pads. McAllister, put some outrageous mouse pads right here on Timu. Um, how much do you think this mouse pad was? 15. Twelve. $8.99. Ooh, okay. It's, you know what, it's long. If they yeah. do something right, they print mouse pads for very cheap. They got that going for them. Now we gotta hear some audio in game, don't we? This right here, oh. this one took some damage. Oh, we've seen this brand. Yeah, but this is, Onikuma. Uh, we've seen this brand a lot, and this is the X25, and the box makes it look absolutely amazing RGB, by the way. What is that? Do the coolest gamers. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. I only do the coolest Also, look gamers. at, all right, we want to set the expectations right. This is what the listing says it's going to look like. Do you believe it's going to look like that? No shot. There's no the shot. The light up even? There's no shot. I feel like it's going to have like all the lighting, but it's going to be like extremely dim. Oh God, it might actually. Look, look at these. Oh. <laughs> God, that's innovation right there, guys. That's what innovation smell smells it? like. Dude, Dude, it's foul, this, whatever it is. I'm ready for this. Wait, let me I'm put ready? it on my head. Oh, tell, tell me if I look cool. Hold up. Do I look cool? You, no, but uh, the lighting's there. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. These are actually kind of nuts. We gotta take back everything we said. Compared to other budget gaming headsets we bought on Amazon, I will say there's not even that look this cool. Mmm, yes. They're actually kind of comfy from a brand we've seen before. What would you say is the price of this, this headset? 25. Uh, yeah, I think 25 is actually a good number. $16. What? <laughs> I don't make this up. Who, <laughs> this is, is Timu. Yeah, we'll need, yeah. A, need a mic test right here. McAllister, come get us and like hit us if we don't do a mic test. Okay, well, perfect timing. Matt's behind me. He doesn't know why that I have a mic and a camera. <laughs> I get to hit you. It's okay, go. All right, I punched him. Now back to the video. We got the headset, we got the keyboard, the mouse, and the mouse pad. We need a monitor. I know Jackson's gonna like this. This is actually a bigger monitor for change. This is a 27 inch monitor. A Xiaomi? From Xiaomi, which Xiaomi is the one monitor company that is available on Timu. And we bought their 24 inch monitor a ton of times, but this one is a 27 inch. 1080p? 1080p, ready to go. Uh, let me pull up the full specs and price of this bad boy. But yes, 27 inch, 1080p, um, what is it, an IPS panel. 
uh, 165 hertz. The price is really good. So we'll talk about the price here in a second, but we gotta open it up and make sure it actually showed up in one piece. But I think we were pretty happy with the last one that we saw from them. It is shipped just like this. This was it. That's the crazy. label is right here. Oh, is that Madel? You feel is, some Madel? Is that raw? That's raw Madel. Okay, the monitor, thin AF. Mm -hmm. This is the episode of Smells. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> God, this can't be healthy. I'll be honest with you. Right. You know, you see all those like um, lawyers talking about like, hey, have you worked in this facility and you want to sue because you have, I don't know, black lung or something like <laughs> that? Oma. If you or a loved one worked at Toasty Bros from 2022 to 2024 and are now living with a critical disease such as Sigma, mogging, Designed by Xiaomi. This is, a, I've never seen a stand like this. I do like the little slab of metal. That it can't be that expensive for them. And I'm assuming it, it'd be heavier than a normal, like cheap plastic stand. I mean, we, 24 inch monitors, in our opinion, are too small. Jonah, do you agree? Pretend AP no. Oh, pretend AP. Uh, you think so? The only video game this guy plays is House Flipper now. That's right. <laughs> are you House Flipper? Right, lawnmower simulator. Oh, is it a. Oh, it needs to go. Yeah, let, me, okay. let me just let me slay her down. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. I mean, we've guessed higher on all of the prices so far for everything. The last one's the monitor. What would you say the price of the monitor is? Cheapest, I feel like you can get that on Amazon new is like 120, 115. So, okay. Timu, um, 110. Going $90. Too low, 109. 109, okay. Now this isn't included in the budget. Every time I'm shopping on Timu for a setup or whatever, there's always something that stands out, right? <laughs> this right here is a levitating plant. And I'll have you open this up, but this is a levitating oh. plant that uh, when I was looking up setup gear, it popped up and I figured it would add to the feng shui of this setup. Oh, and it gets plugged in. Is this an electromagnet? No, no freaking shot. <laughs> what is happening? Magnetizing to it right now. Do I need to get it like in the perfect spot? Oh wait, did you find it? <gasps> oh my, my freaking God. Bro, it's levitating. Holy shit, can we <laughs> get this in there Can it fit? Oh Let's my freaking go. God! I am getting a video. McAllister, right Zach! We've what? discovered science! Alright, how much do you think this was? You said it was expensive for Team Standards. 30 bucks? Okay. 25. 50 bucks. Holy shit. <laughs> That's expensive you, for Team Standards. <laughs> 50 buckaroos. I've never seen something like like this in person. I mean, I'm sure I knew they existed, but I just never... Oh. It, it's pretty mesmerizing. It's pretty cool. Just like this Timu gaming setup that we're going to benchmark and show you guys what it's all about. We got the monitor. We got everything put together. $600 all in minus my extra splurge because that thing was actually really cool. Um, we're going to game on the sub and see what it's all about. I don't think it's ever going to stop spinning on its own either. I think it's going to keep going. All right, guys. We're playing Apex Legends, and we're at 1080p. We are in lower settings because... We're only getting 100 FPS, and uh, this monitor can obviously handle more FPS, higher refresh rate, so we're just kind of doing the Ooh. best we can. See, like, this started better. To be able to get, like, a somewhat higher refresh rate so we can actually see it on this monitor, actually take some advantage of it. Yeah, with the monitor, I had to crank the brightness all the way up. Out of the box, it was running at, like, 60% brightness or whatever, all the way up to 100. Didn't change much. It's still kind of dim, but... Hey, $109 is not too bad, but we do have to talk about the elephant in the room. These peripherals that claim to be wireless, and they're lies. They're absolute lies. <laughs> yeah, the keyboard and the mouse don't seem to have any batteries in them or anything. The mouse is really lightweight, but I, I genuinely think that's how they did it, because I think a mouse this lightweight that's wireless would have cost a lot more. Yeah, the, the price didn't make sense, and the fact that we left it charged for an hour, came back and then realized, well, after we unplug it, it has no it. sign of life, no activity, anything. It doesn't even work. Um, well, it makes us think that it's not actually wireless, which is kind of weird they went through all that effort for it to just be a fake wireless mouse. Yeah, it's crazy because it even has this. Now, the keyboard was like easy, right? It was like, well, it's obviously not wireless. Like, there's, there's no, no wireless like, switch or anything. This yeah. actually has a switch between Bluetooth and, and 2.4. And a dongle. It's really plugged in. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, why? Did they like have shells for these and just were like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't put a battery in there. <laughs> No, definitely very solid. I do wish that they had just done a static color uh, for the lighting. I personally am not a big fan of like the fake RGB, basically static RGB, if you will, where that you can't change each key. I think that only really looks good in like an all black keyboard, but when you got color key switches, keycaps like this, like orange and white, you kind of just want all, all one color. But you know what isn't all one color? That headset. That headset is all over the place with the RGB. What does that sound like? Dude, it, it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like it's, um, I would describe it like I'm down a hallway. Like it, it is it is almost like hard to hear the sounds. They sound kind of muffled. It's not super bassy or anything. Anything either, my goodness. Oh, he's surviving. He's guy. really surviving and thriving right now. Oh, and there he I is. didn't think that guy had that many 
bullets. So what I'm hearing is they went all RGB, no sound. They said, forget the drivers, forget the actual use for it. This is just an RGB piece yeah, that exactly. you can't even see while you're using. Oh, I'm gonna die to a freaking bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you got um, bombed. Real question is, do you feel like your gaming performance has improved because of the floating plant that's next to you? I forgot it was there. Um, yes, the magnetism is getting in my, my brain and it's uh, causing me to game better. It's gonna be the one game that'll actually show the high refresh rate because I'm gonna be playing the finals, which is even more demanding than this game. And it's, it's, it's like just, right yeah, at 165 for like a minute. So you're seeing the smoothness. I, I am impressed with the lack of like blurriness in this monitor. Some of these cheaper ones that we've gotten from Amazon and stuff like that, there's a lot of ghosting. This one seems very smooth. Yeah, the one review from Chalk Chip. <laughs> that sounds real, right? Uh, latency is low enough that only human error matters. <laughs> Great mouse especially went on sale. Thank you, mm. Chalk Chip. I appreciate it. Chalk Chip, do you real? Or are you working for the Timu? 99! They're hiding because they're about to take that L. Let's go. You know what? We'll take it. I'll, I'll take a dub on the Timu setup, guys. If you That's had to give this setup a rating out of 10, what would you say? The entire setup as a whole. I mean, not counting the whole non-wireless thing that we paid for. It's $600 for the entire thing, by the way. So with the with PC. With the PC, it's 600 bucks. Seven? Seven? Yeah. Okay. It's all at seven. We'll see if I think it's a seven. We're on the Timu Final Edition, guys. I'm so excited to be using wireless, non-wireless peripherals. Um, that's so disappointing. You know, I was expecting great things from Timu, but apparently the Attack Shark doesn't have wireless technology yet. I will say, just first impressions of these headphones, they are noise canceling. I'll give them that. I want to I wanna see what you think of the sound, because to me, it sounds like the drivers are like 10 feet away. It's like, it's really making it super quiet, the noise cancellation, and then the actual drivers are like, over there. <laughs> and also we're playing the finals, by the way, which is a not great game for this PC because um, even when I launched, it said that we don't meet minimum spec. So um, <laughs> we should get at least 60 FPS though. Um, that's what we got when we benchmarked this before, but it's not great on low settings. Jonah did ask me to do a rage test, by the way, for our little floaty thing over here. Just do a desk slam like Jonah does at home when he loses in Valorant. And um, yeah, just see what happens. The mouse I like, I, I Thought I'd like the grip, but it's almost making it a little bit worse. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, it feels lightweight because it has no battery in it. But I like the design. The design's kind of cool. The design resembles like a much more expensive mouse. Oh! Did your teammate had the shield the wrong way. It's holding up, guys. It's holding up. Jonah, you can take this home now. It's safe. But yeah, I like the monitor. I like the 27 inch uh, size. Much better. Much better than the 24 inch. I, I will say, it's pretty sharp for 1080p, but I, I, I do get what Jonah was saying for sure about not technically being the best pixel per inch when running 27 inch 1080p, but I think this is definitely the ceiling. I don't hate this setup that much, to be honest. The mouse pad's fine, it's acceptable. Not a design I would actively pick for my setup at home, but it's fine. I would like a little more depth to it. I like my uh, mouse pad to be a little bit wider, but it was 899, so can I really complain about an 899 mouse pad? No. If anything from this video, you guys could buy cool mouse pads from Timu for like next to nothing. And I will not forget to do the mic tests. Hey, easy dough in 40 Ooh. FPS at one point. Double dubs. This PC, not great for the finals, but this setup, I think I agree with the seven uh, out of 10. I'm gonna go seven and a half, because mm. I think this mouse, I wish they didn't advertise it as being wireless, because I actually kind of like this mouse for the price. It's pretty good. Um, there's none of that crazy like sensor issues we noticed with some cheaper mice. So all in all, pretty good for a team who set up this go around, full gaming set for 600 bucks. Let's wrap this video up real quick, guys. All right, guys, we have been all Timu'd out today. We have finally done the full Timu gaming setup. Hopefully soon, we'll actually build a full Timu gaming PC with all Timu parts, but for now, this is the best we could possibly do, and honestly, wasn't much of a disappointment. Besides the lies of the wireless <laughs> technology that isn't there yet, apparently, on Timu.com, this setup turned out really well for $600 that you can buy all from Timu. Now, typical disclosure that we don't really recommend you buy from Timu because, well, there's some weird stuff going on there. I think the peripherals are safe. This PC you could buy from Amazon for a better price, so go to Amazon and buy it instead if you want to buy one. Or you could buy from PC Bros, or PC Selling Business. And um, all in all, for a Timu setup, it was much better than I expected. But we'll leave links down below. They won't be affiliate links or anything. It'll direct you to Timu so you can see all the products that feature in today's video. And let us know in the comments down below which product is your favorite. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Now, if you want to buy this little thing <laughs> right here, 
I'm just saying guys, PCBros.tech, this full setup, and also this PC will be available at PC Bros. PC Bros. Tech, you can come in person to our store in Louisville, Kentucky, and buy this full setup, all set up, up front. Jake will help you out. Use code TOZYBROS2 and check out if you buy online to save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Peace. Bye.